Fawa Bliss Oak Ridge Maids. Carla, Carla Lopez and Lee Kim were Oak Ridge Maids in the Fawa Bliss Stackings Apartments. Oak Ridge Suites were very expensive suites near the topper upper side of the the Fawa Stackings skyscraper buildings slight mega cities for the Fawa Bliss community. In the Oak Ridge Suites were a number of suites where high quality people so the Oak Ridge management liked to claim dwelt. Carla and Lee they were maids and they looked after their men folk and women folk, emptied trash pant bins, got meals and all sorts of stuff on behalf of the Oak Ridge Suites management. They did their work, they got paid, they got paid quite well. Oak Ridge Suites was a little bit posh, it had decent money to pay their cleaners and their maids and the workers and their chauffeurs decent wages. They were contracted because Oak Ridge owned the suites and they were leased out as it were, rented out to people who could pay the cash to afford the finer quality of life in Fawa Bliss. Carla and Lee were a tag team. They get, got in most afternoons and saw to their men's needs, mostly single men, single professional men. And sometimes the maids did things which single professional men wanted. The odd tug of this or that certain body part was involved and Carla felt dirty and Lee felt dirty. But when they forked over the bills on the side, it paid their way and managed their income. A dirty job, but someone has to do it. They were cleaning one afternoon in, in an apartment for Jack, and Jack liked a good Jack. You gonna do him tonight? said Carla to Lee. He likes it when we both do it. He, you know, he's been after some of the, the oral treatment for a while. We can't do that. We're not, we're not whores, are we? Said Carla. No, said Lee. We'll just give extra services. It's technically legal. We don't need to tell anybody. The boss man said, you know, if you want to do that on the side, it gives our patrons a thrill. So, you know, who cares? We're young, we're dumb, we're full of cum. And Carla took those words to heart because she was full of sexual vigour of her young years. They weren't terribly old maids yet and they hadn't learned all the ways for society of what was acceptable and what was always a bit iffy. So they gave Jack a tug, both of them helping him out, and he forked the the notes their way and they partied that night painted the town red and all they could really think was it was indeed a dirty job but someone had to do it